Well, thank you as always for joining me. This is Fly My Mavic. Uh, Carl Donald, a good mate of mine, uh, told me about this, the virtual Litchi mission. And what you can do is you can import your Litchi mission into Google Earth and it actually flies the mission uh, as if you're looking from the quad, which means you can include points of interest, uh, interplate functions, etc, etc. Dead easy to use. Uh, first of all, just launch this. You, I'll, I'll put a link below uh, for a Dropbox link for this uh, program. Launch it, and as you can see, there's a few things here. There's a setup, a help, and a change log. The help is really, really helpful, as it should be. It tells you how to use it with no problems whatsoever. Uh, you just use your drone type in there, uh, altitude reference ground or at waypoint 1. Uh, mission speed, you can change that. You've got imperial and metric, etc. We're just going to just stick that down at the bottom for now. The most important thing is this watch folder. I've just created a folder in my documents called Turn Moss Run, as I've been playing with it before. You can put that any way you like, really. Stick that down at the bottom for now. And open up Litchi Mission Hub, which is here. I'm just going to open uh, a mission that I've already got. Let's have a look. Uh, we'll go for we'll go for one I've done today. So uh, open that up. Give it a moment to load up, like so. Then go back to the word mission, and you've got an export as CSV. Okay, click on that. And it'll say, "Do you want to save?" Yeah, I want to save it. Once it's downloaded, open the folder. It goes, mine goes to downloads, I'm not sure where yours would go. Do a control and X just to get, cut that out of there. And then I go to the term Moss Run and I paste it into there like that. Once that's done, you can see it automatically it opens up Google Earth for you. Now here on the left hand side, you can see it says my long run. Click the little arrow next to it and then just scroll down a touch. You now have virtual mission and diagnostics. Click on virtual mission and double tap it and there you go it's going to fly the mission for you and this is what I've done at Sir Moss I've actually have got the video footage for this what I'll do is I'll just you can drag the bar across from here and you can just quickly scroll through the mission and it's handy uh, just for checking you know POIs etc etc and where it's all uh, where your camera's going to point and as you can see here this is the the back side of at Sir Moss in Stratford simple as that it's dead easy it's it, it took me about 30 seconds to work it out i was trying to download a csv from air data but you don't you want to download it like i said from clicking on the missions there and export as a csv so create the mission first of all as you would do and then just save it and then export it as a csv and then in google earth as you can see it plays now, I've not done anything fancy with the camera work on this one, but it does give me a good idea of what the camera will look like as it flies around. I think it's great. It's literally a, a 30 seconds to set up, and you could be checking your mission and seeing how it looks, you know, in relation to... Because it is difficult with Litchi when you plan a mission, you know, is the camera going to point to the right position? Is is it going to be accurate, you know? And this, this does it all for you. You can actually view the entire mission all the way around. And if, if there's a mistake in the mission... You find out before you go and fly. Cause there's nothing worse, than, as you know, than flying a mission thinking, oh, bloody hell, I didn't tilt the camera down there, or why did it move like that? That's, that's, you can change the, the, the waypoints on the mission, delete the original file, just download it a second time, and check it again and see whether it works for you know what it is you want to use, basically. And that's it. Um, how, to, uh, how to run a virtual mission uh, in Google Earth. Simple, easy, 